Hi, I'm Greg Allwell, the senior editor at Strings Magazine. This time we're going to take a look at the new Yamaha SLB200 LTD limited edition silent bass. That mouthful is for this sculpture that's masquerading as a bass. It features several significant upgrades over the previous versions of the silent bass, including upgraded tuners, a curly maple neck, an upgraded ebony fingerboard, a nice oil varnish finish on the body, which is made of spruce and mahogany, which is a bit unusual, as upgraded electronics, and uh, a new ebony saddle, which replaces the previous plastic version. Um, and all of these upgrades add to a really lovely instrument. Several of the upgrades that Yamaha made are directed at the professional player, and those features include um, the increased portability, um, and one of the things that they've done to do that is um, eliminate the silent feature, which is common on the rest of the silent line, which allows you to plug your headphones into the instrument's preamp for silent practicing at home. It's kind of missed, but with the, a larger acoustic chamber inside of the body, you might not need it at all for not waking the neighbors up or waking the baby who's sleeping or that you won't really miss it if you're bowing or plucking the bass at home. Yamaha says that by eliminating the silent feature, it increases battery life by about 10 times, which is good for about 2,000 hours on a single 9-volt battery. That's pretty good use for an active preamp. Speaking of active preamp, the, it features uh, volume, treble, and bass controls, and should your battery die on a gig, which is bound to happen at some point if you gig enough, there is a passive switch, so you can switch, bypass the active electronics, and you can go straight into your amp that way. It drops the output of the tone considerably, but you can just boost your amp to compensate for that. I used the silent bass on a New Year's Eve gig and some rehearsals with my band, which mostly plays jazz and blues songs. And I used the, this was my trusty old Fender Bassman amp, um, which is a tube hybrid amp. And um, I have to say, I was really impressed with the, the instrument's sound, as was my bandmates and the crowd actually commented to me afterwards, which is, for anybody who plays bass out there, getting a compliment on your sound is rare. Um, so, it must sound pretty good. And I also got a lot of compliments on how um, amazing this thing looks. It, it really just looks like a piece of modern sculpture. Um, so, here's just a simple B-flat blues. One of the challenges for um, any electric upright bass or amplifying any upright bass is the ability to have it sound good when you're plucking it and bowing it. And that's just a challenge just because the string vibrates so differently. And one of the things, one of the places that, that the silent bass excels is that it sounded really good when I used a bow and it sounded really good when I was playing a pizzicato. So here it is with a bow. There's no question the Yamaha SLB200 LTD is a high-end electric upright bass, and it has a price to match it. Um, its MSRP is $4,995, and the street price is about $4,000 for that. That's pretty, that's pretty pricey for an instrument in this range, but, but it does sound really good, and it's beautiful, and it's well-made, well and it should be a great companion for a long time. I'm Greg Olwell for Strings Magazine. Thanks for watching.